Does Amazon shipping methodologies make sense? You're sending in pallets into Amazon LTL shipments and they're forcing you to send to multiple locations. But what does that do to you as the Amazon brand? My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. And today we're gonna look at a forum post, which I think is quite interesting. Uh, so I'm just gonna read a few of these uh, points and kind of weigh in on this with a hot take, if you will. When I create a new inbound shipment, Amazon typically splits the order between two warehouses. I have to play with the quantities to get the shipment to send a full 52 pallets to one location, typically to CLT2, and then MEM1, which is typically to be about half full. So 52 pallets to one, 25 to the other. I've only done one shipment so far, so it's possible I missed something, but if I merge the workflow, on a new set of SKUs, it will add them to the CLT2 and MEM1 orders that are working, thus putting me over the 52 pallet limit going to that one location. On the old send and replenishment inventory, when I confirm my shipment, CLT2 would be ready for production, 52 pallets, and shipped uh, by the day scheduled. So we have a situation here where if you create the shipment and go to ship more, they're, they're stacking additional items to one location. I would not schedule a shipping date for MEM1 order with its 52 or 25 pallets. When I'm ready, I would start to create a new inbound shipment knowing that I would get the approximate same pallet distribution. The 52 new pallets would go to CLT2 as normal and about 25 to MEM1. The new 25 pallets would then be going to MEM1 and I would combine with the original 25 pallets add to existing shipment, thus giving me the full truck of to MEM1. So basically having to wait on making a shipment and then sending to the one location. So this is basically playing with Amazon's shipping system because as we know, as Amazon brands, sometimes you can't get that full truck. And of course, sending a half truck, that's not exactly a good thing, right? And we know Amazon wouldn't exactly want to have uh, the environmental impact of sending two half trucks just a few days apart from each other. So it doesn't really make sense. Uh, so they go on to say merge workflows and add to existing shipments seem to be different functions. Merge workflows seem to be more like the old add a SKU. Sorry if I called the wrong name, it could have been added or product or item. So now I'm sending half empty trucks and I'm trying to find a way to fill the trucks. So this is uh, problematic. And by the way, if you think you know how to solve this issue, please feel free to leave a comment because uh, I think more than one person is experiencing this right now. And it's it's the shipping logistics game, huge pain in the butt, right? And ever since Amazon changed to this new UI, certain functions, they don't work the same way that they did on the old one. Others in the forums weighed in. Yeah, this has been a known problem since rollout. Amazon is passing the cost of distribution to sellers by preventing you from making full FTL, LTL shipments to a single destination like in the past. So bad, Amazon is forcing some sellers to make LTL and SPD shipments, resulting in the inability to sell on Amazon anymore. Amazon doesn't care what they cost sellers. However, they do care about PR and the environment. This is clearly a waste to the environment for me to send empty tractor trailers down the road at five miles per gallon when the last month I could send full trucks. Amazon FBA fixed the problem. Well, I don't think this video is gonna fix the problem. I don't think they're gonna make any changes based on one YouTube video. But what you can do to help us out on this issue is to spread awareness is add a comment which says Amazon FBA fixed the problem. So if everybody writes a comment, Amazon FBA fixed the problem, maybe if we tag enough comments, the algorithm will show this at the top and Amazon will see it and see the PR nightmare uh, that they have. So this is affecting multi-million dollar sellers, especially shipping out big shipments. And this is probably gonna get worse. We know with restock limits and all these other challenges combining together, it's not very fun to deal with logistics on Amazon. So we're all binding up together. It's not me against you, other Amazon sellers, other Amazon agencies. It's all of us against Amazon. So help us out. Leave that comment. Amazon FBA fix the problem.